Audi folks, whether you live in an RV or go camping, boating, or just plain have a house, a condo, an apartment, whatever, and you can't afford those great big solar panels put all over the roof of your house, but you still like to have some power or power backup, emergency power, we got something new to show you today. Yeah, this, this is new. This is the Oasis 600. Nod Selects. So, wow, there's the name of the company. And this is their, apparently this is fairly new. In fact, it's so new, they didn't want me to show it to you uh, until June the 15th, but they've gone ahead and said, you know what, go ahead and do it. So today, we're gonna check this power source out and just see how good, yeah, this thing worked. I got a funny feeling I'm gonna be very impressed. Now, before I go on any further, too, uh, I've got to thank Gabriel for sending this over to us because this was this is one of those things that always interests me. Is I love power stations and power supplies. I love having backup power around the house. Uh, we've had some blackouts here in Texas, and these things have been just an absolute godsend to having you know some kind of power to be able to you know watch TV, get back on the internet, and just continue my day without interruption. So yeah, you know they are really cool to have around. And as far as uh, open the box to see what's in the box, nah, you know, there it is. <laughs> it also comes with this little bag of tricks here, which will be your cables for charging it up, whether it be solar or off of an AC system. And I think we're going to try it. We're going to do solar today, but it's going to be a bit of a problem. But I'll show you what we're at. We're, at. <laughs> we're up against this. <laughs> the rain, heavy gray clouds and things. But I've got some panels outside on the garage door right now. Just leaned out some portables. And we've got the power in here, so we're going to hook up to that anyways. I don't expect to see a lot of recharge power coming in, but we'll have some. Meantime, let's take a look at this. On the very top of it, we've got the charging station for our cell phone. It, this is a very, very uh, nice, clean looking machine, but it has handles on this side and this side. You know why? Because it, yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy, but with those two handles, it's a lot easier to handle and carry so that you can Carry it up against your body like that, and hopefully it won't hurt your back, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now, got a beautiful output. You got your two 110s. You've got the usual barrel plugs for the DC, and of course the cigarette lighter plug, the famous one. Uh, but you also have the USB-A and the USB-Cs. So you've got those, and you've got different watts. You've got 100 watt and 30 watt on the USB-C, which is, you know, typical. Uh, actually a little better than some of the ones I've looked at in the past. So this is a really nice model. It's uh, rated at 600 watts. Now the surge on it, I don't know what the surge is. When I find out, I will tell you before this is over with. But yeah, look at it. You know, what a nice, nice clean looking machine. At the back of it, we have the input AC and also uh, looks like a yeah, XT60 uh, plug for running off solar to charge this guy up. So if you have portables even, you could charge this up and then that way you can keep going. And my cat is in here today and she's uh, talking quite a bit. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> okay, okay, alrighty. Wow, I went outside for a second while we were doing this and it was pouring rain. So I had to change shirt, change, change hat, you name it. I got soaked. <laughs> Anyways, this thing, the very first thing I guess we should notice about this is it's different. It has four ways to charge it. I've never seen that before, but that's, you know, wow, you know, that's pretty cool. The first way, obviously, is just plug it in the house and, you know, charge it off a household system to bring it up. That way you have portable power that you can take with you remote, or if you're camping or whatever it is you're doing, that you can take power with you and you can have it right there on standby. Now, the second system, I'm not that fussy on this particular one because they can get pretty hot. You gotta watch these things, but, uh, you have the XT60 plug, obviously, and a cigarette lighter plug is supplied with the kit. So this can be plugged into your, like, your cigarette lighter, but you really need a good heavy-duty cigarette lighter and watch the heat because some of these get really warm. It does limit it to 120 watts or 10 amps, but I've still seen them get pretty warm when they do that. The third way is to bring in solar. Now, I can't show you the uh, name of the company here, so I have to kind of keep that low. But we'll just off this particular solar. If you buy a solar panel uh, kit like this, 200 watts, and you want to be between 12 and say, I think it was 24 volt, you don't want to get any higher than that because this does have a limitation on that voltage. But at 200 watts, you'll notice a kit such as this one right here comes with the XT60 to plug into a unit like this to charge it up. You don't, again, you don't want to go over 200 watt. You don't want to go uh, too high a voltage. I've got some 200s here. 
that are, uh, I believe, 40 volt. Those are technically too high to be charging on this. So uh, in some cases, and this is a good example, you're better off to stay with the company that you got this from, buy their solar panels portables if you want them. Yeah, don't just buy some cheap ones from somebody else. You are asking for trouble, you know. And in, in some cases, you know, you might be able to get the right ones at a low price from somebody else, but you know, I just don't recommend it. Now, I've mentioned these two, I've mentioned the solar, there's a fourth, yeah. This is the one that kind of blew my mind a little bit, but you can also charge off a USB-C to USB-C system if you have that available to you. That's kind of, yeah, a little different, but that gives you four ways to charge this. Now, it's 600 watt output, and I checked the surge. The surge is 1,000 watts. It has a good warranty. You can buy an extended warranty. This is rated at 3,000 cycles or you know, about 10 years of life, roughly, uh, if average you know, for most household use. So overall, it's a very good long-term unit. If you buy something like this, it's because it's gonna be with you a very long time. So the next thing that I really didn't mention, but I gotta get into it, there's up to 12. You could be charging 12 things at the same time with this. Now, technically you could, I don't, again, I don't recommend that, but <clears throat> you could do it if you, <laughs> if you had to. Uh, you've got these two here, which are non-ground type plugs, which, you know, we run into that all the time. And you also have the two plugs. So you actually have four outlets on the AC. Uh, I had mentioned just the two here, but actually there is four. Also, uh, you have the light, which uh, it does the, uh, a nice uh, light that you can set the brightness off and or you can have the flashing or you can have the SOS mode on there if you'd like. That's, again, this is something that uh, can, especially for camping or around the RV or something, can be really extra handy to have that big, long, glowy flashlight thing going on. Yeah, a lot of times with camping especially, I'm saying, but anytime it's remote or something and you have some of these, you've got this tremendous flashlight that'll last a very long time on just that flashlight because you have quite a bit of power stored. Now, the rating is, I think it was 587 watt hours, which means roughly at that point, you get about a one hour use out of this. But a lot of times we're plugging stuff in that's like 100 watts or something. And 100 watts, almost six hours of use. That's quite a bit, you know, or even lower. Uh, my, for example, my uh, modem system for my internet, I think it runs around 40 watts, something like that. That would last, you know, all day long, you know, kind of thing. Uh, keeping it going while the power's off at the house or wherever I am that I want to use that uh, modem to hook up to the internet. Again, charging laptops, cell, you know, cell phones, whatever. So these are really, really good because they're such a low price compared with buying a draw, you know, a big pile of solar panels and having battery storage, having to buy an inverter. You know, you have to buy all these different things to get that AC power, and this is so portable. You know, it's just a, it's just a no-brainer. It's easy to you know carry around, and have with you, or use it around the house. I tell you, one of the crazy uses we have a, a game night where I like to have a fan running all night, and so what I do is I use a system just like this one right here. I plug it into the fan, run the fan all night long. When I'm done with it, I take it over to the barn, plug it into my regular solar panels, and let it charge. I just leave it sitting there. The next time I want it, it's 100% fully charged, ready to go, and I can have the fan running again. Cool. Yeah, it's just you know, handy little thing. And I'm not using power off the grid, so I really like that off the grid feel, you know. <laughs> Anytime I'm running running electricity without the grid, I like it, <laughs> I like it a lot. Now. So the rain has stopped and we are now outside with this. I've got a solar power panel, 200 watt, 20 volt, ready to go, hook into this, but it's not hooked up right now. I've got a load on here and I've got the AC turned on. And I've also got the button, there's a button here so that this thing doesn't go to sleep on you if you're running AC and you want to keep it on for a certain amount of time. You can hit this button, it'll tell the AC to stay on because you want to, you know, keep it going kind of thing. You don't want it falling asleep. Uh, right now we're still at 99, I've only got 30 watts of load on it, so it's not really going to pull it down very fast at all. Uh, I'm going to hook the uh, solar into it, you know, here we are right here, we're going to plug the solar panel into it for charge. And this is what I really like about these little stations is you can now I'm going to take a reading and I'll, I'll give you some numbers here to show you what's going on right now obviously 99% full uh, the, the load I've got on here is uh, 30 watts so this is a 30 watt AC load it's, it's a lamp 
the power coming in is 144 watts so in other words I could put more load on here if I wanted to and I still would keep this thing at 100% charged it's that's that's why I like these so much because there's just you can keep feeding them with solar during the daytime you can have the AC and you don't even run them down at this point so it's kind of like having a full solar package and in fact it's showing uh, let's see if I can read this it looks like it's 20 I'm gonna say 20 hours at the present situation just the way everything is going and 142 watts coming in off the panels which is awesome for a 200 watt panel that's actually really good <laughs> but it is it is hot it is sunny uh, 20.8 hours at 30 watts so in other words for 20 hours this thing can keep going regardless but because I've got the uh, solar coming in we're actually charging the system so we're offsetting that 30 watt load and that's where uh, people get confused sometimes about that but different power stations you can do different things with such as this where I'm running solar panels and I'm also using the power at the same time it's just it's just a cool thing let's go back inside it's hot out here <clears throat> oh we're back inside this is a little warm don't leave this out in the sun like I just did because it's just not good for it I don't think yeah but <laughs> I had to because it was the easiest way to get the shot and put the solar panels out plug into this and just show you that uh, it can be charging from a solar panel and still have the AC output at the same time and be totally filling itself up which uh, let's see if we can get this there you go uh, I had that load on there for a bit and it's at hundred percent because there was more coming in than what was going out that's another thing uh, some of these are rated pretty low this one's rated at 200 watts so that means up to 200 watts with 200 watt panel you could have 100 150 watt load something like that happening and you could sort of as long as it's sunny out <clears throat> you know <clears throat> run that all day long which is pretty cool and there are some people that will tell you oh well what can i do with 600 watts well you can do quite a bit with 600 watts yeah and yeah that's my drill yeah that's a ryobi drill three eighths and heck, i didn't even get off to 100 percent yet but yeah there you go so you could run small power tools like fairly you know decent stuff like that or i've got some sawzall stuff like that or you just plug in and you could run it off this and you could be very very remote from wherever you know the job is so these things are handy uh, rv same thing you could uh, get a little coffee pot machine going uh, run your laptop off of it also again your modem or any wi-fi system that you need you could hook into this and it makes you totally portable yes i like that yeah <laughs> The uh, Oasis 600, and it's a nice machine. Oh, I will have not only a link in the description, but uh, I'm going to ask you, go ahead and check back with us whenever you can with this video and take a look at the description. We might have a coupon or something, a discount coupon later on to get this for even a better price than it is. So, yeah, definitely check back. Well made, good quality, nice rubber bump bumpers here on the uh, edges so it doesn't, you know, bang stuff up or get banged up, whatever, when it's moving around. Let's see if we can shut that off now. Okay, now the AC, there it goes. I uh, just, did I get it? Yeah, I got the AC off and now we'll shut the, yep, we'll shut the unit off and let it sit. The uh, overall situation here is at a 600 watt level, it's a very, very nice system. And the uh, voltage, I thought I better check that for you because I know it's 12 to whatever. And I believe in the manual here it shows 28, 28 volt is what the, uh, there we're here in the uh, scope here of things, yeah. It was 28, I think it was 28 volt on the solar. And that's like I say, that's a key thing important because you don't want solar panels that are 40 volt or something, you know, and trying to, you blow it up. So it is 20, up to 12 to 28 volt. And that was a 20 volt uh, solar panel package that I have laying around here. I've got a couple of them that are uh, 20 volt and they're 200 watt panels I have several you know in fact uh i have a 400 water sitting here but it's 36 volt technically that would be too high all the way around to be charging something like this but it's i'm using it for a larger heavier power station that runs the air conditioning in this garage for me <laughs> and it's fed from it's fed the system is fed off of a large power station that can handle it and also charges 400 watts coming in from solar so it's a nice balanced system but you can do this on small scales, you can do this as well. So, you know, it's a good system. So if you're in a condo, apartment, regular home, 
uh, or you're camping, RVing, uh, boating, you know, outdoor activities, or you want to work on a remote place somewhere and you need some kind of AC power with you. Yeah, the Oasis 600, it's handy for a lot of things. In fact, I have a fellow that does uh, display systems with signs and he takes one of these with him and plugs the display in at the last minute when he's putting the sign up to make sure it works right before he moves on to the next job and said this thing has been a total game changer for him. Other ones, of course, are things like musicians that are in the downtown streets of like uh, New Orleans. You'll see them with something like this running their amps and their uh, recording systems, microphones, everything else, all powered off of, you know, a little guy like this. So there's a lot of really different weird applications sometimes you can get into with these things. But it's just that whole idea, portable power. So anyways, hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. Yeah, we got cool stuff coming up. Oh, you know it. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>